In this video we'll be learning how to create a seven segment display. Um, yeah, basically um, seven segment display is used to to display numbers. So um, yeah, we're going to be picking the middle segment, which is the horizontal segment. If you're not sure what it looks like, just jump on Google, have a look for seven segment display and you'll see a figure of an 8 and each of these segments is identified by a letter A, B, C, D, E, F, G and we're going to be doing the middle one which is G okay so first of all you'll want to go to load factory settings up here and that just brings you back to a nice clean state um, so yeah from here we we want to make changes to this cube so that it looks like um, the segment we want to create. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to press N and scroll up, and basically it it shows us our coordinates, so we can click on any face or vertice and we can uh, we can check the coordinates which is exactly what we want now um yeah i'm f just for now i'm holding the middle mouse button and i'm moving the mouse around so um yeah have a go at that and just get used to to doing that so um yeah we can hold down the mouse bit uh, mouse middle mouse button and from there we can rotate our model to get access to any edge or vertice or face. So from here we're going to start making some changes. Now it's a bit high so we want to change it, we want to reduce the height by half. So what we're going to do is we're going to press tab to get into edit mode and then we're going to um, over here, down here in, in these icons, we can either choose vertices or we can choose um, edges or we can choose faces. Now we're going to be choosing choosing faces so you just use the right mouse button on a face. Now we've chosen that face there and we can affect the height of it by just clicking on the blue arrow and moving it down and as we're moving that you can see up in the top right the Z coordinate is moving with it so we want to bring that down to exactly 0.5 so you can sort of bring it down to about here that's 0.5 but then you can also go up here and set it to exactly 0.5 now what we're doing is we're going to be working in units of 0.5 so they're going to be like 0.5, 1, 1.5 2, 2.5. We're going to be quanti quantitizing all of the units. So there we've reduced the height and now we're going to go to the bottom as well and we're going to reduce that to minus 0.5. Yeah, that's pretty good and now we're going to do the same for the sides. So what we're going to do, we can just basically select any face. We're selecting this face down here with the right mouse button and then we're going to use green and you can see how we're going to reduce it down to 0.5 just reduce that size so that about there and then we can just click in it minus 0 0.5 so sometimes you just want to be able to click on these arrows and just move faces to where you want but then there's other times when you want real accuracy and that's when you use the these fields up here. Now we want to move the other side in as well so we select that side and then we move it down to about 0.5 and then we fix it up to make it exactly that and it's kind of yeah it's kind of get, getting there. We still want to we want to create the little triangle shapes on the edge and we also want to make it wider so what we'll do is we'll select this face here and we'll just pull it out to there well, let's 
watch watch where the numbers go to and they're about two so up here we'll change that to exactly 2.0 um, I.e. you can use the the wheel mouse button to just zoom in and zoom out anytime you want. Now we're using the wheel mouse button to spin it round and we're going to select this other face using the right mouse button and we want that yellow um, control there, I mean yellow, red, the red control. So we're going to bring that out to 2 which is about there. I'm going to fix it up. It's got a negative there, negative 2.0. It's either negative 2 on one side and then it's 2 on the other. So there we've kind of got our, our, our segment. We just want to make the triangles on the outer en edges. There should be a triangle over here and a triangle over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to split our face. So we're going to select this face and then we're going to select knife over here and we're just going to click somewhere at the top and somewhere at the bottom and press enter bang we've now split that face in half now from here we want to pull this edge out and we want to leave those edges there so what we're going to do is we're going to change our focus from selecting faces to selecting edges so you just use this icon down here and we're going to right click right there on the edge we want to move um, we can also see how there's an angle on that edge across here it's a bit of an angle there we should fix that up so let's go to vertices over here next to it and we're going to click on this vertice so you just use the right mouse button and you'll notice these numbers up here are mm, they're almost quantitized. We want to bring this Y. It's close to zero, but it's not zero. So we want to bring that to exactly zero. And we want to click on this one over here. And that's exactly what we want. Two, zero, and five. Awesome. Now we we'll go down here and we select edges. And we select our edge here. And we want to pull this red, red arrow down to about there and just watch the numbers. And here we can see the X, if you look up to the top right, X is moving and we want to bring it to 2.5. Yeah, it's, that's about what we want. So we just 2.5 and that's exactly, oh and our Y is moved as well. So we want that to be 0 and bang, we've quantitized our units and we've got our first triangle part of our um, G segment and we just got to do the other side so we select faces and we select our face there with the right mouse button we click knife over here and you just pick two sides two edges sorry and press enter and we've cut our our face into two faces by creating a new edge there. Now we want to quantize those two new points. So we go over and we select our vertices, not points, our vertices. And we click on this vertice, just have a look at the numbers. Minus two, this one needs fixing. The other is alright, so that should be just zero. Cause it's it's almost zero. So we'll take it to exactly zero. And we do the same for the bottom one. That there should be zero. And there, that's very nice. And we go we select edges and we select our new edge. And we use our red arrow, push it right out. So we want about 2.5 so minus minus 2.5 and there we go what you can do is like while it's positioned that's the original position there you can without move without using the red arrow if you know what the coordinates are you can just type them in minus 2.5 
and that's it. So there we have our 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 G segment. We need to make a segment down here and a segment over here, another one. So we've made G. We need to make A B C D E F. So that it'll it'll become a complete seven segment display. Um, what I normally do is I finished, so I just I go back to vertices select, and I click on each vertice, and I just make sure that these units are exactly either you know within 0 0.5. They're good. That's good. Oh, I see here. That should be zero. Um, pick that, and that should be zero. Let's move along to these ones. Yep, they're all good. They're all good. And let's go to the other side. Yep, that's vertices that fine. They're all fine. Yep. And some at the back. That's exactly it. Cool. Now, really, you could create that seven segment display um, without quantitizing the X, Y, and Z. Um, yeah, it's really up to you how you want to do it. But yeah, that's just a quick, quick um, tutorial on how to create part of a seven segment display. Um, you can go ahead and make the other pieces.